Welcome back, everyone. The biggest story nationally, of course, continues to be coronavirus or COVID-19. While your chances of getting it remain low, there's still plenty of questions about the virus. Dr. Zorba Pastor joining us from his office in Oregon to talk more about it. Hello, Zorba. Hi, good to see you guys. How worried should we be about this as individuals? Well, I think the risk right now is very, very small. It's not zero, but it's very, very small. There are no cases really to speak of in our area. There's no active cases that we know of right now. Uh, but I think taking precautions is a good idea. So taking precautions means washing your hands. Now, there has been a run on hand sanitizer, as you know. And uh, if you go up to the web, you can find you can actually make a hand sanitizer with isopropyl alcohol, a cup of isopropyl alcohol, and a third, or rather two thirds of a cup of alcohol and one third of a cup of aloe vera gel or glycerin and that'll make hand sanitizer but the fact is washing your hands in a sink works really really well too so you can you know you can do that but keeping your hands clean I think is very important the masks don't do anything they make people feel better but unless you have an N95 mask that's actually fitted for you it really doesn't do anything uh, and I think that's really the issue we have to remember influenza is still the big killer so far the CDC has thought that 25,000 people have died from influenza this year we know that Last year was up in the fifty and sixty thousand dollar range, you know, fifty and sixty thousand people range. If you haven't gotten your flu shot, get your flu shot. That reduces the risk of death by sixty percent. It reduces the risk of hospitalizations by sixty percent. And too many people are cavalier about the flu shot. They go, it doesn't hit me. But the reality is that's going to kill a lot of people, maybe more people than COVID. But I think the fear is out there. The other thing I want to warn people is there is a lot of fake news out there. And in fact, the BMJ recently had an article today about how many fake news sites that are out there that it's the deep state that it's political and all these other things if you want information go to a reliable site like the CDC site or the Mayo Clinic site or the University of Wisconsin site and you'll get good information but there's a lot of bad information out there and there's a lot of trolling on that bad information site where they'll say we'll protect you give us your information give us your social security numbers you've got to be very careful about the websites you go to for more information if it comes to Wisconsin, eventually it probably will, mm -hmm. um, and sure. you're worried, you're having symptoms, and you're concerned, will you be able to go to your doctor and get a definitive test to determine whether you have this or not? Well, that is the problem. The problem is a lot of COVID-19 feels just like influenza. It feels like a cold or a sore throat. The kits are not readily available. They are available, but there are not a lot of kits right now that are out there. The CDC has finally opened up the gauntlet, if you will, to allow more kits to actually be there. And I would expect over the next week that we will see more and more kits. But you need a clinical judgment. In other words, you need to go into someone, see whether or not you have it, and then see whether or not the test can be done. But right now, now, there's not a lot of tests available, so I'm not exactly sure how easy it is to get them. Once they come into this area, we need more tests, and that's where we need support by the state government, the federal government, to get these tests in the hands of clinicians, doctors like myself, so you can actually test for it when it comes into our area, because you're right. If it's not here now, it certainly isn't going to be here another time. I think the other thing is the scared. Lancet. Yeah, and there's no, there's no well, vaccine or anything that's part of the There's plan, no vaccine. There's no, and you know what? There won't be a vaccine for a while. It always takes a year or two. You've got to test it for safety, and it's in the pipeline. But it's not going to be here for a while. And there are a lot of uh, viruses that we have never developed a vaccine for, so hopefully we'll have one. The other thing uh, is that people who are older are more likely to die from it. Not young children that often hit a number of uh, pandemics, but people over the age of 60, especially those with heart disease and diabetes. That's what just came out in the Journal of Lancet today, that it showed that older people with medical problems are the ones who are most likely to get sick and actually suffer from this. All right, wash those hands. All right, it's time to call in now. If you have any medical questions for Dr. Zorba Pastor, now's the time to do it. Yeah, we'll take your questions about if you want to talk about coronavirus or any medical, anything, anything. Any medical right. questions. The number is 270-9933. Stand by real quickly. We're going to go to a quick break. And uh, Zorba, you stand by as well. We'll take your calls when Live at Sounds Four good. continues. We'll be right back.